Press enter until service is displayed. Use the up or down arrow until settings is displayed. Press enter. Unit will be displayed. Use the up or down arrow until control is displayed. Press enter. Local will be displayed. Use the up or down arrow to navigate to BACnet. Press enter. MAC address baud rate will be displayed. Press enter. Use the up or down arrow to set the appropriate baud rate. Press enter. Control mode will be displayed. Press enter. Zone will be displayed. If you do not wish to use zone mode, use the up or down arrow to navigate to the appropriate control mode. If your unit is zoning and your system has a zone link, select remote. Otherwise, select monitor only or zone. Press enter. Backup mode will be displayed. Press enter. RAT will be displayed. This means return error backup. Use the up or down arrow to select the backup mode. Press enter. OCP heat backup set point will be displayed. Press enter. Use the up or down arrow to adjust the set point. Press enter. Unoccupied cool backup set point will be displayed. Press enter. Use the up or down arrow to adjust the set point. Press enter. Startup delay will be displayed. Press enter. Two will be displayed. Use the up or down arrow to adjust startup delay. Press enter. Override timer will be displayed. Press enter. One will be displayed. Use the up or down arrow to adjust the override time. Press enter. Blower on occupied will be displayed. Press enter. Use the up or down arrow. For this demonstration, we will use always on. Press enter. Network sensor will be displayed. Press enter. CO2 will be displayed. Press enter. No will be displayed. Use the up or down arrow to change to yes if you have a network CO2 sensor. Press enter. RH will be displayed. Press enter. Use the up or down arrow to change to Use the up or down arrow to change to yes if you have a network temperature sensor. Press enter. Hold down the escape back arrow until the display says updating settings and release. The M2 board will perform a reset and settings will be saved.